the next day now and today I didn't do much so I decided to come to the coffee shop that's like literally right next door to my hostel uh, which is so nice I've been to this coffee shop before it's called coffee fellows and it's really cute I really like it I went to this one in Belgium Belgium I had this coffee shop in Belgium so I went there and I really liked it, so when I saw that it was here, I was really excited. So I'm just chilling. I actually got some Subway because Subway is so cheap. Like, I get a foot long, and what I do is I'll eat half of it for one meal, and then I'll save the other half for another meal, and it's great. Um, and it's like not that expensive. So just trying to save my money out here, and I got a caramel macchiato which if you know me you know that's my drink of choice like all the time and it's really good i had to add a little bit of um like something something to make it not so strong and what i've been doing today so i woke up late but that's okay i was up really late editing a um a instagram story that we were going to post on this Instagram called Latinas Who Travel and we it's just it's run by a friend of my sister's and she basically just posts Latinas Who Travel and it's cool because different Latinas can take over the Instagram when they're traveling and since my sister and I were traveling we filmed us going to Sacrica which is the Basilica in, um, in Paris and we filmed that and I uploaded it and I made it kind of cute. I added like stuff on Procreate and stuff and it was really fun. And this morning, two other girls moved in to my room, which I'm kind of happy about because I was getting really lonely. Like I was saying yesterday, I was feeling really lonely. So having like human interaction has been great. So they're so sweet. One of them is from the United States and one of them is from Belgium, she said. And yeah, so it's been really nice to have other people. And today's Halloween. Oh my God. <laughs> um, today's Halloween and I don't know what to do. I, well, I can't dress up because I literally don't have anything. I mean, I could wear this if we did, like, if I did end up going somewhere. I could wear this and, like, go to, like, I don't know, go to a bar and pretend like, I don't know, picnic table. Okay. And what else do I have to update you on? Oh, yeah, so when I was sitting here, I was looking at, I was watching uh, dance videos. If you know me, I can say that, if you know me, but something about me is that I absolutely love dance. Like, I love dance. I love watching people dance. I love dancing. I just love dance. And I think I got that from my Latina roots. Um, but I love dancing. And so, when I, since I was little, or not little, since I was like 14, 13, I always wanted to be a hip hop dancer, but I never, I never really seeked it out. I did, when I was at a gym, they had like free classes. Well, not free because you're paying for the gym, but they had classes, um, like hip hop dance classes for fitness. And I did those and I loved them, but I kind of didn't keep up with it. And I'm really sad because I'm like, well, if I would have started then, even at 14, that would have been like so many years by now that I would have been dancing. But I was watching like a hip hop dance, um, a hip hop dance uh, video for Daki Daki, the new song with Selena Gomez, Cardi B, and Osuna, which is such a good song. And it's so good. Oh my god, they're so amazing. It's crazy, and I'm so jealous. I'm like, I wish I could do that. But yeah, so I was watching that and eating my sub, and now I'm gonna get some work done. I'm going to edit my haul because I hauled some things that I bought from Bali and I'm gonna drink my cafe and yeah so I'll check in with you later Good 
morning. So today is, what day is it today? Today's Thursday, so it's the next day. And I came back to the same coffee shop that I came to yesterday because it was right next to my hostel and it's just so cute. It just gives me like homey vibes and I feel like very at peace here. I don't know, coffee shops just have that effect on me. But I came back for breakfast here, so let me show you what I ate. So I got a salmon bagel. Oh my god, this looks so good. A salmon bagel with cream cheese on a sesame bun. And then I got a matcha latte. Now, can we appreciate how beautiful this looks? Like, oh my god, this looks just glorious. I can't wait to, oh my god, amazing. And also the foam on top, like, amazing and i am going i'm heading to the hag today because i'm meeting up with the one of okay so my host's nephew also lives in the house with me in france so her mom or her family lives in the hag which is like 30 minutes from amsterdam so i'm going to meet up with her and she's letting me stay in her home which is so nice of her because i didn't realize but the prices of the hostel went up like crazy like threefold for friday and saturday and tonight too so that's crazy i'm like saving so much money um so i'm really happy that she's letting me stay with her it's so nice of her so i'm gonna eat breakfast head over to well maybe just do like a little bit of browsing over here you know <laughs> and then i'm gonna go to the hag and then i'm gonna meet up with her and i don't know what else i'm gonna do maybe explore the hag a little bit but i'm very excited to explore a different part of uh is it in amsterdam i don't think so so to explore a different part of the netherlands so Let's do it. Just wanna dance, want a simple romance, nothing more, nothing less from you. Just stay the night, then we we'll leave when it's like nothing wrong, it's alright with you. No ties, no cries. There's like, it's a very small town. I would say there's not too much to do here, but it's still really, really beautiful. And I absolutely love it here. There's so much, so many canals. There's still the canals that are typical of like Netherlands and Amsterdam. And it's so, so beautiful. I've been here since yesterday. Last night I got in and I've had like such an incredible time here. I am so sad to be leaving tomorrow. So I'm leaving back to Paris tomorrow morning. So I have to get up really freaking early at like 
7 in the morning, which is not super freaking early, actually. What am I talking about? Um, <clears throat> so I have to get up at like 7 in the morning, and then I go back on the train at... So I leave from her house at 8 in the morning, and then I go back to Paris. My train leaves from Amsterdam to Paris at 11 in the morning. So a sister has to leave freaking early. And I don't know, I'm just really excited. Um... I literally just said I'm sad to leave. I am really sad to leave, but I'm also very excited to go back to Paris because I haven't spoke French in like so long and I feel like I'm forgetting my French already. I've only been in Amsterdam for like three, four days, no, five days now. Um, I've been in the Netherlands and I feel like I need to, I need to get back to practicing my French. So I'm going to do that. I'm very excited. And then I go back to work on Monday. So right now I'm packing all of my shit and I got a coffee. Of course, I can't stay away from the Starbucks even when I'm in Europe. I'm sound so freaking American. I also got a leather jacket from Primark and guess how much it was. It was so cheap. I mean, it probably isn't the best quality leather jacket, you know what I'm saying? But it's still really freaking cute and I love it. I'm just really happy I found a leather jacket. I've been wanting to buy a leather jacket for the longest time, but I don't know. They're usually really, really expensive. I mean, I don't know how this one is gonna last because it was really cheap, but I mean, it looks nice, you know? It looks pretty nice. I also got this watch today from H&M and it was also really freaking cheap. I think it was only 19 euros and it's really nice. I've been wanting a watch, like a nice big watch that I can wear to work for like the longest time. So I'm so happy I finally got one and it's so cute. I think it looks so freaking like Yanks Beach. I know what I'm doing, okay? Also, wait, can I show you my new phone case? It's so damn cute. Look, they're boobs. It's so cute. It's all like different types of boobs. <laughs> it's so cute. I got this from Urban Outfitters in Amsterdam. And I saw it and I was like, I really don't need this. But I just like, ugh, it's so cute. Oh my God. I literally sound like I have a problem. We, I mean, I do have a problem. I do have a shopping problem. We can already acknowledge that. But can I show you my new shoes? I've wanted a pair of like the dad shoes trend. And I walked past this shoe store in Amsterdam that's called JD. And I'd never heard of it, but I saw that they were selling these. So I walked in and I was like, okay, if they have my size, because literally every time I've been to a shoe store in Europe, they never have my size. I feel like Europeans just have really small feet like I do. I don't know. I really don't know. But my size is always sold out. It's literally always sold out. So I was like, okay, if they have my size, because they never have my size. If they have my size, that means it's meant to be. So I walked in. I asked them, I was like, okay, I really want the Fila dad shoes. And I was like, do you have US 6? And the guy was like, let me check. And I was just like, okay, just sitting there waiting, sitting, waiting. And then he comes back and he's like, here you go. And I was like, bruh. So I bought them and they're just so cute. I'm so happy. I like don't even want to wear them because they're so white right now. And I'm like terrified that they're going to get really dirty but i just love them so much okay i'm done i'm done talking about materialistic shallow things so i'm going to continue packing and then we're off to paris tomorrow mm -hmm.